Hey, whether you're a nature enthusiast, adventure seeker, or simply just like relaxing outdoors, chances are you've been to a local park. And there's a special series of events from friends of Grand Rapids Parks coming next week that you're going to want to know about. Stacy Bear is the executive director of Friends of GR Parks, joins us this morning. Hi, Stacy. Hey, thanks for having me back. Yeah, it's always great to see you. Before we jump into it, we have a series of events. We have we a do. few of them coming up. Before we get there, what exactly does Friends of GR Parks do for our area? Yeah. Our community in Grand Rapids Parks loves the outdoors. In Grand Rapids, West Michigan, I think that's why many of us are here and stay here. And so Friends of Grand Rapids Parks, we work with the community and city to continue to enhance and restore our parks, grow our urban and community forest, uh, and, and build new trails, natural surface trails throughout the city. So we've been around since 2008, 2009, when the economic situation didn't look too great. So people stepped up and took care of the parks, and we've evolved since then to do the work we're doing now. And it's, it's a ton of fun working right alongside our, our neighbors to make yeah. the city even better. Yeah, planting trees and cleaning parks and doing all sorts of good things. Y yeah, and I heard earlier, you know, the conversation around mental health, and I think it's such a powerful and important one. And one of the things I don't think a lot of people realize is just how impactful time outside can be on your mental health. Even 20, 30 minutes a day just raises the floor of mental health for everybody. Uh, and planting trees. If you have, you know, in Grand Rapids on the hottest day last summer, it was 18 degrees cooler. Uh, on a shaded street than it was on a street without trees. And that's, that's a huge swing, and that impacts physical mental health. It impacts water coming into your basement. And then just our parks, we have a lot of invasive species that just need to be cleaned up so those parks feel safe, they feel like you can go have the adventures that, that you and I, I think, grew up having in the outdoors. And that's the work we're doing with our parks, trees, and trails. And, it's, and you get to meet your neighbors and, and meet people from all over the region. We even have a guy who flies back every year because he loves our tree planting so much, he comes in every year from Raleigh, North Carolina. No way. I know. Yeah, so we're great. just to spend time in Grand Rapids and plant trees with us. Yeah, well, we appreciate the work that you're doing. Thanks. And of course, we want to support that. There's a gala coming up. I mean, it's kind of a big thing yeah. to do going, coming up. Yeah, so Love Your Parks Week. There are three opportunities for people to come out and support our parks. We have a gala event Tuesday night with a great speaker, Luis Benitez. He's climbed all the highest peaks around the world. Uh, has a great perspective on what outdoors can do for everybody. Uh, that's Tuesday at the Goey Center, and you can get tickets on our website. Wednesday night at Creston Brewing, we're doing Great Lakes Trivia, so people can come out, test their Great Lakes Trivia, learn a little bit more about Friends of GR Parks. And then Thursday night, we're closing off the week at the Wealthy Street Theater with our friends from the Fresh Coast Film Festival in Marquette. Uh, they're coming down to do their road show. Uh, they did the first show ever outside of Marquette last year with us. And it's just to celebrate adventure that can happen in the Midwest. And I think too often we think, oh, these great adventures are somewhere else. But our city parks, our county parks, state parks, Michigan, Michigan should be and is one of the top outdoor recreation destinations in the country. And we just want people to remind, we want to remind people that together we can make the Grand Rapids the capital of Midwest adventure. Well, uh, can I be a personal testimonial sure. for you? Because I'm a transplant to the area. Yeah, me too. I came from Utah. I came from Illinois. Yeah. And, and when I got and being here, the parks, the beauty, the nature that just seems to be entwined with our city, yeah. it just fell in love with that. So that is something that you, you're correct. People notice and they want to stay there. I don't want to go. I, I knew 20 no. years ago I wanted to stay here. No, and we, you know, people are like, oh, why'd you, some people are like, why'd you leave Utah? And we're like, because Michigan's amazing. Like, Utah's great, but the water, the dunes, and, and you can get, I mean, we have a thousand acres in our parks and rec system of natural space in the city plus another thousand acres of what you would think of as, as you know, playgrounds and playing fields. What city, let alone a city of our size, has 2,000 acres of access? And then you throw in the county parks and you throw in the amazing parks and our municipalities all around us in Wyoming and Kentwood, East GR, Sparta. Like, we just have so much opportunity. And it's, but I think, you know, we, we oftentimes see these big, huge mountaineering and skiing on these big, huge mountains, but skiing in Michigan, even this year, I've, I've gotten up 15 times, right? Um, we just have so much with the river, the lakes, the dunes, and, and I want more and more people just to be so proud of their parks and rec system. If we track the numbers, Trust for Public Land does a park ranking system of the top 100 metros in the country, and we're 127th, I think, so we're just outside of that population-wise. We look at that scoring metric, and we are the 13th ranked park city in America. And we believe at Friends and David Marquardt and his team and Mayor Bliss and the city committee, there's so many people pushing. We know that we can be a top five park city in the country, and we're already just knocking 
on that top 10 door. Maybe we can get some people to help. I mean, That's I mean, right. There, there's a way that you can get involved, even if it's not at one of these events next week, if you can't make it to that, there is a website you can go to that help. There are many ways that you can support Friends of GR Parks, and that website is the very first place to go. Don't forget, Love Your Parks Week, 20th through the 22nd. you got the gala, you've got trivia night, and you've got that Fresh Coast Roadshow, some films, right? Absolutely, yeah. some films from Great. all over the Midwest. Perfect. And if people can't give with money, we hope they can give with their time or volunteer or plant a tree, take care of a tree, even plant your garden. I mean, that helps beautify the city and take care of pollinators and all the things that makes West Michigan great. Well, your passion for that is infectious. I got to tell you, Stacey, friendsofgrparks.org. For more info, we'll be right back.